What's up, everyone? My name is HippoTC, and I'm going to talk about Skull and Bones. And I have some gameplay footage that you'll see playing in the background. This is footage from their live event without any of the face cams on or anything like that. So you can kind of see the game in its full glory. So uh, I'll let that play, and I'm just going to share some of my thoughts on some of the things I've seen maybe some concerns that i have and uh yeah let's just jump into it so skull and bones is a brand new open world pirate game developed by ubisoft it looks like it's going to focus mainly on ship combat or naval combat and that is where you are going to live the majority of your pirate life inside of skull and bones there are some outposts and some dens i think that you can get off your ship and go talk to other people, get contracts, uh, craft things, that sort of thing. So there will be this kind of getting off your ship, but it won't be anything like traditional Assassin's Creed games. Cause that's kind of what this game reminds me of a lot of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It's not like that game in that you get off your ship and you fight people. There's no hand to hand combat. There's none of that. It's all naval. So first out of the gate that is unique there's not another game that i've seen that has that kind of focus in the pirate world and i've seen the comparison that some people have made they said that skull and bones is like sea of thieves now i would disagree with that it's not like sea of thieves it's only like sea of thieves if every pirate game in the world is like sea of thieves like that's not how this works skull and bones is its own unique game and the art style is completely different and it's just, it's just not the same game. It, it's an unfair comparison to say that Skull and Bones is like Sea of Thieves. The only thing that it has in common is in fact that it is a pirate game. Now, with that being said, one aspect of Skull and Bones that is kind of similar to Sea of Thieves, it is an open world. Now, we're not exactly sure what that means. We've heard in the live stream that there will be PVE servers and PVP servers. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about that. I actually don't like it at all. One of the things I love so much about uh, Sea of Thieves is it's a PvPVE world. So there's always this risk and reward, this tension of meeting other players on the seas that I, I really want to see kind of come to fruition here in Skull and Bones. Like PvPVE, I think, is going to be key to see the success for this game. I know a lot of people might argue on that point, and I'd love to see and hear what you guys think in the comments below for sure. But I think it's the aspect of players not knowing what they're going to do that really adds uh, just a level of thrill to a game that uh, that a pirate game is going to need. Like, for example, one of the things that we see a lot of and you see it right now in the footage is there's there's resources and there's food and there's water and there's all these things that you can get from your plundering. Well, you got to get that back to an outpost to secure it for you and yourself and for your crew. Well, what if you do that and there's a, a crew that kind of just came out of nowhere and and stole your loot? Like there's this aspect, I think, that really makes it fun and, and keeps you on your edge or on your toes when you're going up against all of these crews. And who knows, maybe there's a player economy one day, a player driven economy in Skull and Bones. Like we're not exactly sure uh, what that will look like or be, but I, I hope there's this, they, they lean in. I really hope that Ubisoft leans in to a player-driven economy and a player-driven, um, I don't know, world. Like there's just, there's something about PVP VE that is special and it creates some incredible moments uh, for sure. But uh, anyways, so yeah, we, we kind of get a sense, uh, we kind of got a sense from the live stream that they did what this game will be like. And uh, I saw some comments saying that the the ships don't move exactly how they should or they're concerned about some of the aspects of it and honestly i, I kind of shared this a little bit on my live stream uh i'm hopeful i love pirate games that's one of the things i enjoy uh so much that's why i play sea of thieves so much it's why i've kind of made a whole channel around pirate games like i really enjoy that aspect of it and uh when it comes to skull and bones i would say uh, my thoughts on this would just be give them a chance. I think we uh, gamers are so critical oftentimes. And I don't know about you guys, but I think we are super critical of developers. And this is something new that is being done. It's created by 
uh, passionate development team. You can kind of see that um, I've had the ability to interact with some of the developers and you just can tell that they really care about making a great game, not just to create a great game for creating a great game's sake, but they really want to make something that has a huge impact uh, in the gaming world that leaves an adventure in people's hearts, that gives people uh, opportunity to play with friends and just have a great experience. And uh, you kind of get that sense from them. So my, my thoughts honestly would just be like, let's see where Skull and Bones goes and let's keep our, our mind open to it because I think this has some great potential to be an incredible game in its own right, a game that focuses on kind of the naval aspect uh, that we don't really see out there. And just the art style alone is absolutely beautiful. So uh, really excited. Anyways, I just wanted to share this new footage with you. Give my thoughts because I get people asking me all the time. What are my thoughts on the new Skull and Bones game? So here's my thoughts. This is what I think. And uh, yeah, I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. This is the first kind of video I've done like this too. So let me know if you like this kind of style of video. Just me talking with gameplay footage playing. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys out on the seas.